Hey Knuckleheads, welcome back to another episode of Red Trigger. And we just got done past what I call the most horrible part of my life. <laughs> um, this spot right there, that was just awful. I am not, no, no. If I can avoid doing that again, I will. Um, that's why I'm going to record the rest of these episodes. So I don't have to worry about that one again. Because that took me about 15 minutes, or 10 minutes to do. And our whoop de woo thing, which is woo, fun. And let's see, let's go to the left. Oh, okay, it's all the same. So, we are on to the next spot. Okay. Whoa. This is massive. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? I, I mean, it looks like I can go two ways, so let's go to the left first, because I like the left. Oh, I can go three ways. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of things I can do. Well, alright. Oh, did I, can I go four ways? Okay, how am I on a computer? No, there's just three. I just kind of got that unlucky bounce there. Yeah, that's where I came from. So there's three. Okay, let's go to this one first. Since this looks like the most interesting right now. Okay. So, let's see what this says. What the hell? Oh! So that just makes a bridge. Okay. So, what am I supposed to do here? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that's not getting me high enough. That won't get me anywhere, and that won't get me anywhere. So I gotta go back up there. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. But past this, oh, okay, I can jump here. Okay, hmm. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Woo! There we go. Ah, that's cool. Alright, that's cool. That works. So what's down in this hole? Green button. Alright, let's go press this. Sweet, one down. Alright, so we gotta go to the next one, number two. Sweet. So each one does a little doohickey. So let's go over here. Let's solve this puzzle now. We'll just go, we'll just go counterclockwise. That makes sense to me. Alright, so we got some pillar things. Oh. Okay. So my goal is to get over there. Uh, okay. So that gets me those. <gasps> oh, nope. Ah. Okay. Mm. 
So over here. Oh, that's nice. I can do it without it. Woo! Oh! I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Launch my ass over here. Go away. And there's number two. Nice. That was a semi by accident one. Like I didn't realize I ended up solving that kind of out by accident, but that works. Um, that one basically you were able to hop up here, get up there, and then use a combination of that opening and then pushing you all the way over there, and then from there you just hop into that. And you got in. That's not bad. Um. Oh yeah. I guess caveat. Uh, if you don't want to know those rules to this game or whatever, don't watch it. I don't know. I didn't think I said it before, so I'll say it now. If you don't want to watch the rest of this and spoil the fun, don't. <laughs> okay. So now we're over to this one. So this. Oh, okay. So let's go back over here. Moink. Ah! Okay. Okay, how am I supposed to jump onto these? Is there anything else I can do? I think what I'm going to have to do is jump on this one and get myself on the edge of this as much as I can. And I'm going to have to shift and run. Nope. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not die. Hmm. I wonder if they line up at some point. They don't look like they do. No, they're all about consistent speed. But there is another wall there. Oh, I see what it's doing. Boink. So that will stop that one eventually. So I want to keep going at that one. Ah, that works. Weak. Okay, I should have gotten on that one a chance. I was. Da, 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 da. Where is the box? I'll just jump on my can. Boink. Boink. There we go. And we are done. Boom. And it looks like there's a center thing here now. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, this is back where we kind of started from before. Ah. Oh, whoa, holy shit. Okay. I guess we're just going to go here. I'm running. I'm just running for this tail, man. Run for the hills! Oh, okay. Where am I at? Where am I at? Huh. Okay. Wink. Mm. 
Nice. Woo! Okay. This is uh, new. All right. <laughs> ah! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Boom. All right. So wait, how do I... Okay, that was kind of confusing there. But we'll go at it again. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> One and jump. Woo! Oh, I miss. I might had my arrow, my gun too far pointed down. I know how to do that one now. Okay. There we go. Whoa, that was glitch. Boink. Okay. So I gotta shoot. There we go. Alrighty. And we got through okay. Okay, let's see. Hey! That works. Oh, okay. Uh, boink. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Woo, that works. Okay. Okay, I guess that will work. Um, there we go. Okay, can't go this way, so we gotta go this way. Alrighty. Boink. Come on, run, 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 run. Whoa. Whoa, it's tripping out on me now. Oh, I guess this is the right thing. Oh, okay. Uh, did I do it? Yay! I did it. Um, the zapping gets a little weird at the end there. You don't need to zap all the time, I think. And that was it. <laughs> um, I'll just click out of that. Um, wow. That was a really um, interesting, fun, and unique game, to say the least. Um, that was just bizarre, the ending. Like, um, I would love to, I think with this game, I would like to have seen maybe a little bit more story. Most of the story that I saw came from the description of the game. Um, if it would have, like... Like, the protagonist doesn't have to say anything, which I... People are like, oh my god, the protagonist has to say something to like, interact with the game. No, there's some very solid games that don't do that. And this is one of them that you don't need to do that. Um, though I will say the antagonist, or the system, whatever it is... Um, Maybe just a tad bit more vocal stuff. Um, just something to kind of give you like a little bit of a story. Um, saying that you are a virus, you must be destroyed or something like that. Um, just kind of give us some context. Um, with this game, it's it was very fun. It was. Um, I think my biggest problem was that jumping puzzle of trying to jump those platforms. They were roughly about five seconds piece. They need to be like seven or eight. They need they they just need to be that way. 
you you put them at five seconds, they're just gonna people are gonna struggle, and I feel like people get turned off by a game that, yes, it's challenging their mental ability, but because the game mechanics the way it works is challenging them at a different level that they didn't want to be challenged at, it, it it's a balance, but you know we'll see. I um thoroughly enjoyed the game though. Overall, um, I think this game. If I would actually give it a score, like an actual proper score, um, probably eight and a half out of ten. It is definitely, and when I say eight and a half out of ten, that's a high score for me, because I consider anything like an average game a seven. I can consider this a definitely above average game that has done very well, um, and I'm trying not to grade it based on some of its glitchiest issues, which will be fixed over time. I mean, there's nothing you can't do anything about that. But the game is very rewarding, very enthusiastic. Um, there just needs to be developed a little bit more story to it. Um, it seems like there is a story, just not quite there yet. Um, and just fleshing out a couple things, and you're it's golden. That's really it. It's it's just it's just a few touch things that. If they got fleshed out, would be make a great game, I think, for people to play. And I think it's a very enjoyable game. So, overall, 8.5 out of 10. It's a good game. Needs some polishing. I'd probably give it a 9 after it's polish. But, uh, overall, this is a fun puzzle game. I think it's definitely um, unique. It's definitely up there. It's something that hasn't been... I've noticed done. Um, the only thing again I could compare it to would be Portal, and even that's a stretch, because what Portal did was basically more of teleportational puzzles. This is more jumping slash a platforming puzzle, so it's not necessarily Portal Two, I would say, or Portal for that matter. Um, it's a good game. I like it. I I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So. Uh, when it gets greenlit, um, which I hope it does, please go support the game. It is awesome. Um, I'm doing my best way to help him out this way. Um, I'm not financially very well sound right now. But if you guys want to help donate to this, the cause or anything like that, um, just shout out uh, Maxi on uh, Steam. He'll definitely get a hold of you. Um, but he is such a great person. I'm thoroughly enjoyed playing his game uh that's really all i got to say for you guys um it's good so if you like the video um please slap a like on it guys i really do appreciate that uh if you want to see more great games like this or something like that's kind of exclusive to the channel like this uh please subscribe today and let me know um if you want to see a game that's on the green lights the steam green light and you're like hey can you please contact this creator and say hey we would like to play this game on my channel let me know. I thoroughly enjoy getting recommendations. I just got a recommendation to play some more Project Nimbus, so that will be coming out later this week as well, hopefully. And I listen to you guys. So, as always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play.